One owner car guy. That's my old place. Ooh, a nice camper special. Runs and drives, trail rated. A 60, oh, a Caprice. Oh, damn. A ca oh, damn. I gotta go back there. Okay, well, point of this video wasn't the stuff in front of my old yard. It was the stuff here at this yard where this guy has been helped by my my leaseor. Bill's going towing. This could be Bill. This could be the guy. This might not be the same guy. Oh no. Well, it's different, but it'll work. Okay, Breeder, you're going to have to stay put. What do you think of that? I know. It's rough life. Take these guys a few things of live wire. Breeder going to stay in the car. I don't know who towed it. Somebody sure did. Made it a lot easier. I would have washed it. Mm. See what we've got as far as air. This is what a lot of a day amounts to. That's why it would be nice to have a a helper that can help me and run over and just sign a piece of paper real quick. Etc. Samantha says this guy is a nice guy. I haven't talked to him yet. Sure, roll back a bit. I'm thinking he left it in gear, in neutral. He sure did. Probably put air in it too. Yeah, this is leaking pretty good. What the heck? Somebody put a something over that. Wow. Never in my life. I'm gonna put a note in this thing. It needs a tire. Well, let's go talk to our transporter. Exhaust. How you doing? Hey, Mason. Yes, sir. How you doing? Hey, good. How's it going? I'm Lyndon. Nathan. <laughs> nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Of course, we get this far when the winch doesn't want to. <laughs> oh, bummer. I'm on the other direction. We'll spin it back. There you go. It's always something. Tight. Okay, now I put you in. I put you in park. Because I um I, I put air in the tire, and it of course started leaking. Did you see that repair on there? The 
the bigger. No. They, they put they put rubber cement or something on oh, the tire. Oh. I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, here I had this too. You do energy drinks? No, I don't do energy drinks. You don't do energy drinks. Do you do energy drinks? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> each one of these is energy, so there's four energy drinks in each box. Wow. And just don't take them all at once. They're time release though, so you don't get a big up and down. Alright. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Have a safe trip. I appreciate it. Thank you again. Where are you from? Are you from here? Yeah, I'm he's right here at the end. Are you doing the U-Hauls? No, we used to do the U-Hauls. Oh, you don't know more? Not anymore. And are you Bill? My dad's Bill. I'm William. Nathan, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Well, thank you for helping him out. Yeah, no problem. Um, is your, are you guys usually here or what? Yeah, where do, we're here. Where do I find? Where is you guys? I don't know where you guys we're are. We're all the way at the end where the fence is, where the gate is. So you got cars in there? Yeah, we got cars in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what do you guys do? Mostly towing or? Towing, but I just mostly do transporting. No more, um, no more U-Haul then. No U-Haul. Why? Just didn't pay. I, I'm uh, looking at that in Montana for one of my locations. What? It all depends its location, but like it's. You didn't get a lot of you didn't get a lot of use for it out here. No, huh? not out here. Well, See, we're very way in the back. And it seems like it could be a toss-up because either it's, it's far enough out that you're going to get somebody, or it's too far out that you're not going to catch enough people. Yeah, That's exactly. how I am in Montana. I'm out in the middle of two towns, and <laughs> I don't think it's going to be profitable because I'm kind of the same deal. Well, cool. Nice, well, nice to meet you. I don't know. I guess start small towns out there. Well, because I, I've seen way over in Wyoming, they got a U-Haul business way out in the middle of nowhere. And I guess it's, it's, if you can, it's all mileage, really, that you're getting money from. You guys are still listed on uh, when you look you up on U-Haul. Really? Yeah, they still put you as a location. Oh man. Free advertising, at least, I huh? Guess. Can't beat that. <laughs> so you guys sell stuff or tow stuff? We just tow. Because I see some cool stuff in there sometimes. Private it, storage. Oh, really? You're doing storage? Okay. Yeah. I was like, there's no way they're towing all this kind of stuff, you know? Because you guys have awfully nice stuff back there. Oh, yeah. Ah, cool. Well, awesome. This thing's going to Africa. Is it really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. He's taking it over to Phoenix and he's doing a couple things to it. The guy used to have one, he grew up with it, and they're exporting it. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever I whatever they want to do with it, I guess. It's got a good African price on it too. No, yeah, it was cheap. It was under a grand. Uh, it was just cheap car, but it's what that guy wanted. It's low mile. I don't know. I guess if that was what you had when you was in high school or something, maybe you'd want it back or something. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? That's cool. Well, thanks. Nice to meet. And you're William, right? Nice to meet you, William. What do I, what's, do you got a thing to sign off on? She sure, said yeah. you wanted to ask me on the uh, Cadillac or something? Yeah, I just wanted what you want to do the Cadillac. The, the, the boxy the ones? 78 probably. I don't know, and I don't know. <laughs> 76 to 78. Uh, they both run great. Um, the blue one smokes a lot. All right. Um, the, oh, wow, did you just do that? Uh, Yesterday in Anaheim, trying to get in the Emirates loading dock, I had a non-runner, so they pulled me into the dock. But it was so steep, I had to jackknife. Oh, it. so the trailer did hit it, huh? Trailer rocked and bumped out the window. First one I've ever done. Everybody else has hit windows out of these trucks. That's pretty I, interesting. I jackknifed in there. And there was a little curve that I had to get up against. Oh, well, like you were at a hell of everything was twisted to hell to do that. I was, I was jackknifed like this and had to trade straight to the, the to the loading. What happens is they put the uh, cargo boxes on a platform, and then they just drive right in. I had to back up to the platform so that, that we could winch it down into the platform. Oh, gotcha. So there was like an eight-inch curve. Because you're not four foot high or whatever. It went up that curve, this rock right into the ground. Oh, man. Suck. Where's the Hummer coming from? Oh, really? And things held their value, man. They're they're still. This thing hurt too. Pricey, really? The top side of it's all in good shape. They still get twenty grand for an o o two o three, and I mean a suburban of the same goes for four grand, five right. grand. <laughs> How much are you? Uh, let's do one here. Two fifty. 
make it out to Decker Enterprises.